so this is the twin flame reading for 42121. Um, this is the message from the DM to the DF. And then we're going to do the DF to the DM. And then I'm also going to see where we're at with the other cards, with my twin flame oracle cards. I'm going to try to make not make this 30 minutes, okay? Try to not make this 30 minutes. I'm going to try to do these quicker. So DM to the DF. What does the DM want to say to the DF right now? I know I just did this reading yesterday, but I'm being called to do it again. I don't know. Maybe energy has shifted for somebody. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. The DM is saying to the DF. Wow. I wish I had treated you better. I will wait for a sign from you. I hide behind material things. I know that I crossed the line with you. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. So the Divine Masculine is waiting on a sign from the Divine Feminine. Okay. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Masculine here? What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Masculine? What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Masculine here? Whoa. I hide behind material things. So the, the Feminine is mirroring the Masculine. I look for you everywhere. You were the best thing in my life. Just being near you is intoxicating. I wish I could share my good news with you. We both know I am not the one for you. Mm. I always get clarity about that. We both know I'm not the one for you because I feel like um, the reason why the feminine or the masculine or the reason why one of the counterparts feel this way is because there's always a reason right? So we need to see what that reason is. So why does the feminine feel that she is not the one for the masculine? Why does this particular feminine or these particular feminines feel they are not for the one for their masculine here? This card wanted to come out. Juggling, two of pentacles. Somebody could be trying to juggle two people or somebody could be trying to become more financially stable. There's some kind of, the feminine realized something about herself. Why is judgment here? Ooh, the feminine realized that she's toxic. She has toxic traits. This feminine could be controlling um, or just have, you know, like I said, um, toxic traits here. And she's realizing that um, this could be something that she's working on. Okay. Um, she's speaking the truth about this, though. Queen of Swords here. She is really in her authentic self. Um making it aware that she knows that she has these toxic traits. I feel like she may have not been aware of these things before. Yeah, this took a long time for her to be aware of this. This was a long time coming. Wow. She could have hid behind sexuality, um, had multiple partners or something like that. Yeah, she manifested multiple sex partners to hide behind I don't want to say hide behind, but to maybe use sex as a way to band-aid over things that she didn't want to face within herself, okay, is what I mean. She does want to reconcile, though. She's She wants to reconcile. Yeah, four of wands. When? When? 
Knight of Wands. <laughs> There's a lot of sexual energy here. King of Wands. Oh my God. This feminine, these feminine, the lovers <laughs> win six. So six, six weeks, six months, or June. Okay. But six. All right. Um, so when the feminine says, we both know I'm not the one for you. She's kind of in a state of like, I don't want to say self pity because I'm gonna. I know somebody's somebody's gonna be pissed off, but <laughs> not self pity, but maybe like you know it is. Like this feminine is like, I don't deserve you. Look at who I am, you know, like that kind of energy. But it's like that's that's not true. She just needs to kind of work through these things and heal these things. Um, everybody has toxic traits at one point or, a, or the other in a relationship. Like everybody at one point is controlling. If they're not controlling, then they have other toxic traits, right? These are just things that are programmed within us to deal from, to deal with childhood trauma. And when we recognize these things in ourselves, then we can heal them. But without them being healed, we will continue these patterns, right? So... It's best to heal these patterns so you don't continue having these toxic relationships with people. Okay. So let's see what's going on in the energies. So I guess I'm going to do what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Feminine separately. I think I did that before. That's probably what took so long. But it's just easier to understand the energies instead of me just saying, okay, what's going on general and just get both readings. It's no. So what is going on with the divine masculine right now and his energy? He seems, um, the energy has shifted since you go back and listen to my old twin flame readings. Like the energy has definitely shifted. For a while they were stuck crazy so what is going on with the masculine right now the divine masculine 421 21 what's going on guilt oh he's feeling guilty over something fate is intervening right now and when i say he and she okay we all know that women can be masculine and men can be feminine but when i say her he or she it's just easier for me to do that okay i just don't want to offend anybody by doing that but um so we have guilt fate so the masculine is feeling guilty right now and the divine is interfering the divine is interfering right now fate is interfering um the masculine is at a crossroads right now is at a crossroads there was some kind of an, an epiphany um but i feel like he's avoiding this epiphany there is some chemistry and passion here, though, obviously, towards his feminine. Or it could be with a third party, but this is a divine, this is a uh, twin flame reading. So I'm going to assume that is for the divine feminine. So what does he feel guilty about? Some kind of clarity he received. There was some kind of clarity that he received and he feels guilty. He got clarity over situation. Clarity over what? Something about self-care. He may have interfered with your self-care in some capacity. Um, maybe when you were trying to elevate your energy in some way, he interfered or sabotaged this and he feels guilty. During a period of maybe you were trying to renew, you know, have a rebirth within yourself. Why is fate the divine intervention here? Fate is interfering because they're trying to bring you back together. Reunion. Soul tie. What is, why is divine masculine at a, at a crossroads here? Spirit guides are assisting him with the feminine. Why are they having to assist him with the feminine? Um, by messages, 
could be sending the feminine messages, okay? Uh, like synchronicities, telepathically, um, or uh, getting ready to communicate. Trying to have her remember her awakening, okay? Something about her awakening. Epiphany. What epiphany breakthrough was this? Okay, so the Divine Masculine is somehow seeing that um, he's mirroring the feminine reflection, projection. The Divine Masculine is understanding how mirroring works. This was an epiphany. Why is there avoidance here? Why is there avoidance in a soulmate? This is his shadow side coming in. His shadow side is causing a stalemate. Why is chemistry passion here? Hot attraction. Yes. <laughs> I have hot attraction here. Um, you guys could be in separation and longing for the other one. So that's why we have chemistry and hot attraction. Because, yeah, you guys could be longing for each other here. Okay. So let's see. What, why is reflection and projection here? Something about how <sighs> forming a solid foundation is being reflected. Something about how you two are forming a solid foundation. You guys are mirroring each other in some capacity. Okay. And that was his breakthrough. That was his epiphany. He was like, oh, wow, we mirrored each other in this way. Okay. That's all I got for that. Um, I hope this helps. Okay, so now we're going to see what the Divine Feminine is doing. What is the Divine, what is going on in with the Divine Feminine? What is going on with the Divine Feminine? What is going on with the Divine Feminine? I haven't seen the deception card near the rest of time, so if that comes out, I won't be surprised. Divine Feminine. Divine Timing is at work with the Divine Feminine. She is limiting herself based on some kind of fear. She's completing cycles. She's in the process of changing. She's completing cycles here. But she's guarded because of some kind of wounds. Some wounds. Wounds here. She is going through a renewal, a rebirth here. This card, Renewal Spark, I feel like is the rebirth card. So, transformation. She's transforming. Transforming. So, the feminine is going through a complete transformation. Okay? Okay. I guess I'm assuming the masculine already did and the feminine is still closing out cycles, transforming, rebirth. Um, why is cycles completion here? Why is cycles here? Integration union. She's closing out cycles to get ready to go into union. Okay. Why is transformation here? Hot attraction. Why is hot attraction here? Um, there's something about the past. Okay, she's still attracted to you, but there's something from the past that she's suffering from, and the universe is kind of giving her strength to empower her over this situation. Okay, um, what are the limitations and fears affecting the feminine right now? Limitations and fears. Divine intervention is at play with this limitations and fears. Divine intervention is getting involved here with this. She's clinging to her comfort zone. They are interfering, though. And we got this card, too, divine timing. What's divine timing here? What's divine timing here? Forming a solid foundation. There was some clarity over this. That the divine is showing her a reunion soul ties 
getting her ready for a reunion. But she's resisting this. She's resisting this. Why? The spirit guides are assisting her with this. Just like she was assisting you. Or they were assisting you. They're trying to give, you know, they're trying to give her gifts in abundance. But there's some kind of contract career or commitment that is blocking. Um, why is guarded wounds here? Epiphany. There's going to be some kind of an epiphany around her being guarded and wounded. Why is the epiphany here? There's some kind of confusion. She's confused about something in regards to her wound from the past. It's in regards to her self-care, her energy. She's confused about something. Nurturing compassion. There's confusion around nurturing and compassion. with the masculine. She may not have seen you as nurturing and compassionate, okay? There's something here regarding self-care, her taking care of herself, her being nurturing and compassionate that relates to the masculine. I don't think she viewed the masculine as nurturing. Why is Renewal and Spark here? This is her purpose. Her rebirth, her renewal and spark of who she is, is her purpose. Working through her shadow side. That's part of her purpose. That's what she's doing right now. Yep. Feminine. Embracing her shadow side, working through all of her wounds and why she's guarded. All of that. Why is integration union here? integration union there's going to be opportunities that is going to come to her to have this to make this happen there is going to be an unexpected storm uh, with somebody she has chemistry and passion with and there's going to be some truth expressed okay um i think that's about it that is about it that's all i got for the feminine and the masculine today looks like the energies have shifted a lot okay so i may come back in tomorrow and do another one or i may wait a few days um to do twin flame reading because i like to wait for the energy to kind of change um and for the air signs and all the other different signs I may do readings tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm still pretty tired, um, but we will see. Okay, just play it by ear. If you guys have any other questions, my information is in the description box.